Okay, um, in this video, we want to use triple integration to uh, find the volume bounded by the surface uh, x plus y plus z equals a, and we have the points x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 0. Um, when x is 0, then we're going to be in a yz plane. We're just going to have y plus z equals 0. So that just gives us the straight line here. When um, z is 0, y is a. When y is 0, z equals a. And then if uh, y is 0, now we're in the x, z plane. And that gives us this line. Here, x is a, z is a. And if z is 0, then we have x plus y equals a. We're down here in the xy plane, and it gives us this straight line here, y is a. And like we did before, um, we wanted to take, try to solve this using triple integrals, imagining that we are taking thin vertical strips um, on this figure. And here, it's supposed to be one of these thin vertical strips. We exaggerated the size, obviously, for demonstration purposes. And then, at the bottom, we have a small cube and of dimensions dz, dy, dx. And we would add, want to add up all these cubes, starting here in the xy plane with z equals 0, up until we reach this top part of the figure, and up here when we get to the top of the figure, z is going to have the value a minus x minus y. Um, like we had in our introduction video, z is a function of x, y. Once we have the volume of this column, and notice that to form this column, we are summing in the z direction. Now, once we have the volume of the column, we want to add up the volume of all of these columns going across, starting at y equals 0, and stopping when we get to this line. And at that line, y has the value of a minus x. So as we're summing up the volume columns, we're summing it up in the y direction. And then that gives us the volume of this vertical slice here, then what we want to do is add up the volume of all the vertical slices as if we replace them one after the other, starting at x equals 0 and continuing until we get to x equals a. So the third time then we're going to be summing in the x direction. So let's see, how do we set up our volume integral? We begin here with this cube of dimensions dz, dy, dx, and we were summing here in the z direction. So the first integral would be dz starting at 0 and continuing on the upper limit here, where z is a minus x minus y. Our first integral dz, z starts at 0, and we keep summing till we get this top figure where z has its value, so that's its upper limit. The second integral, as we're adding columns now, is in the y direction. We start at y equals 0. And we continue until we get to this line right here. y will equal a minus x. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. First integral is z. And we're going from z equals 0 to z equals a minus x minus y. The second integral, we 
start at y equals 0 and proceed to get to y equals a minus x. The third integral, and with the second integral here, that means essentially we're adding up the volume of all these columns going across, summing in the y direction. And for the third integral, we've got the volume of the slice, and now we're summing everything up in the x direction. Starting at x equals 0, and stopping when we get at this point here, x equals a, dx. So this triple integral here, once we evaluate that, should give us the volume then of this solid figure here. And again, let's just review what we've done. We sketch the figure out, and then like we did in our introduction video, we said, all right, let's take vertical, thin vertical slices on this figure. And here might be one of them here. We exaggerated the size. And once we do that, we have a cube, and we want to add up the volume of all the cubes starting at z we don't need this anymore. Adding up the volume of all these cubes starting at z equals zero down here in the xy plane. And we keep stacking cubes one on top of the other until we get to the top of the figure where z has z has this value once we stacked all these cubes to reach the top of the figure here. So that's our first interval, then summing in the z direction, z equals 0 to z equals a minus x minus y. Then, once we have it set up for the volume of this column here, now we want to add up the volume of all the columns, starting over here where y equals 0, and keep adding all these imaginary columns, keep doing that, until we reach this line where y equals a minus x. So our second summation is in the y direction, starting at y equals 0, and continuing to get to that line where y equals a minus x. Once we've done that, that takes care of the volume of our theoretical volume slice. Now we want to add up all of these volumes starting here where x equals 0 and keep going out so we imagine vertical slices being stacked side by side starting at x equals 0 and continuing up to x equals a so we're summing in the x direction so starting at x equals 0 continuing on to x equals a so here's a pretty straightforward example then of how we sketch the diagram, and then use the boundaries of the diagram to determine what limits we have here uh, on our integral. And again, when we did that, we went through this imaginary process of constructing a thin vertical slice and then asking ourselves, once we do that, what would be the volume of the column? adding up the volume of those columns, and last, adding up the volume of all these slices that we theoretically created. And that leaves us then, with this integral here, evaluate this integral, and we'll have uh, the volume. The um, problem is, I don't know if we have enough time in this video to do that. See if you can solve this, and then come back Join us uh, in the next video and see if we agree with each other's answers.